games, I think the a lot of them have been pretty much the same. And you know, obviously the main can event is kicking off right now, um, but it will most likely be a lot of mobile video. I would say with approaching everything, companies that end up taking the pivot and really starting to think and live mobile first are the ones that are going to be most successful, right? And we know that pharma is unique and they have limitations and regulatory constraints, but if they really start to just think about it from a mobile perspective first, I think that that will ultimately start to guide things better and make it easier for them in the long run too. I think what's really fascinating and what makes me so passionate about this vertical is that health touches every single human being on this planet, right? And so when you just look at the reach that Facebook has, we are all essentially patients, right? But in terms of the way that we look at it and what we truly anchor in, it's around uh, connection, community, and support. And there's several examples of that, of how patients and consumers want to be able to engage with your brand and with Facebook. Um, you know, for example, we have over 6 million health-related groups, and within that, there's 70 million members of that. Um, so people are there, they want to learn more, and they want advice and support outside of their own networks. Um, even within that 6 million, right, there's 250,000 that are cancer-related support groups, and new ones are developed and, and built every single day. New moms, we have, they essentially start using Facebook because they want to understand what's happening to their bodies, right? And they want to get that advice and support. And within the first year of life, a new mom increases their usage of Facebook by 348%. Uh, it's really incredible. Um, so we have stats like that across those three areas of focus too that really show kind of the natural journey that patients are taking.